What are we doing tonight, Z? The same thing we do every single night, which is party, party, party with the world. That's right. This is Our Reviews Will Kill You, the party time podcast that brings you news, reviews, all that good stuff and more. I am the man you may know as Z, and I am joined from the future or the past with a pre-recorded noob noob. Is it legal to have sex with crickets? It is perfectly legal. Oh my god, there's so many of them outside. I feel like I can there. just rub my body in honey yeah. and run out there and have them take me. <laughs> so you can have them rub your legs. That will be a short, me being taken by crickets forcibly. That's a lot of crickets. I can be transitioned to a cricket. <laughs> They're freaking you out, bro. Do we know why crickets indeed cricket? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for a short, we could uh, go out and we'll show people the ocean of fireflies or lightning bugs that you may have never seen there's so many of them it's an entire ocean of them it's kind of hard to comprehend oh that's right that was we were supposed to do that last year and we're like oh you shit, only have two- like two weekends to, to see it yeah yeah, yeah yeah you'll have a short short time window we can share is it next weekend i don't know you tell me you're the one who's uh, here do i look like i do look like a marine biologist so i will i'll let you off the hook on this one i think it's in the next two weeks we'll we'll see what happens Oh my God. But either way, can we, we get ice cream too? Only if you get me a blizzard. Why do I have to get the because blizzard? Because you haven't gotten me a blizzard in years. You haven't gotten me a blizzard ever. Well, why would I give you a blizzard? I already gave you some booze. Cheap booze. The best booze. Cheap the bougie booze. Old Crow is not legal in like 30 <laughs> states, probably. It is. it is like bottom, middle, bottom shelf. It's the bottom shelf. Hey, we go through a lot of booze. Comes in a plastic bottle, bro. There's no, there's no coming back. It from holds that. lime so well. It does, probably because it's not actual whiskey. It is the best whiskey. Ethanol mixed with brown. I'm coloring. okay with that. <laughs> brown food dye. Hey, it, it, gets the, it gets the trick done or job done or whatever. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? I get to tell everybody what's on today's show. Yeah, because I don't have anything in front of me because we're not live. Because yeah. uh, it's actually my birthday. So, just so you know. Oh, if you were here, I guess I would have sprung for a blizzard for your birthday. I'm, but since you're not... Uh, I, hold on now. What was that? I'll come back do. for the blizzard, you cheap you fuck. You not. won't buy me a blizzard. You're too cheap <laughs> for, for your that. birthday, if you came back, I would buy you a blizzard. <laughs> what size? I want to know what size. Whatever size you want okay. on the house. <laughs> Whatever flavor you want, baby. The flavors are the same price. The size is what matters to me. Whatever size you want. Extra large. <laughs> Okay. So on on today's episode, we're going to talk about stings, but not the wrestler sting. We're going to talk about stolen Avenger script stings. We're going to find out about Bad Bunny and his movie that's no longer a movie and what a Bad Bunny is. He's a bad Mexican. <laughs> we're going to talk about Fubar being a bigger hit. Taking bigger hits. I thought you were going to say he's a bigot hit. He's a bigot hit. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, one bigot hit. Wait, where's Arnold Schwarzenegger from, by the way? Austria. Okay, not Australia. No, I actually watched a whole documentary about Arnold. And I didn't review it. <laughs> Jesus. Apparently, across the Spider-Verse has multiple Spider-Verses. And in multiple theaters. people leaving. Obviously. Combination and story. We're going to find out about... Oh, that's right. And we're also going to find out about... um an auction on some Star Wars products that you're not going to be able to afford because I can't afford it. And the only one who wants to be able to wear it is Noob Noob in a dress. We're also going to talk about... Are we going to talk? No, we cut that one. We're going to talk about uh, Star Trek canceling one of its own, the Prodigy. The Prodigal Whatever that means. We're going to talk about Paddington in Peru. Marmalade. We're going to talk about Wheel of Fortune. In a real disappointing it's gay or host. <laughs> it's, it's some totally gay. We're going to talk about dingoes eating my babies. Gay dingoes. We're going to talk about how sharks are going to take, sharks and orcas are going to take over the world, but specifically we're going to talk about sharks. Gay sharks because it's Pride Month. <laughs> we're going to talk about, we're going to go in and out on Challenger, the three way movie with Zendaya, and it's not as exciting as it sounds. We're going to challenge your sexuality. For Pride Month. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Where are your pride colors there, Chief? Uh, In my heart. <laughs> we're going to review Black Mirror. Resident- but also White Mirror, because gay people are black and white. What other colors would you like to review? Orange. The, the uh, what is it? The uh, intersexual 
intersectional pride flag colors. All yeah. of them. Was there wait, wait that's a thing? Yeah, there is. Jesus Christ. Uh we're gonna also review Risen Evil because Noob Noob watched somebody play it for him. I pl shit I didn't play it at all. Actually. No, you did not. And then we're gonna also review No Hard Feelings. We'll see. I if saw Noob it Noob very hard, hard the entire time. I was gonna say, maybe he got hard for Jennifer Lawrence. It I sounds did. like it's a good time for all. She was a good time. We'll get into that and more. But for now, we got to clean up a little bit. We got to get into some housekeepings. Oh, yes. Clean away my gay feelings. Oh, my God. Well, by the time this is released, we'll probably have several more videos for you. Several? Yeah, because I have to do another secret snores. Oh, I have to do shit. Is that out already? It's out tonight. Oof. And it's Wednesday, You're going to watch it way. tonight? Depends on what time we get done here. You don't like sleep, do you? I do. I ever like sleep. Somnia, Am I tortured by my <laughs> by my by my thoughts? Uh, we talk, or I talk about the Superman casting. There's a brand new Superman, and he's super handsome. I love how. So my mom texts me about this, and she's, she's like, like "No, no, no." She was like, "Uh, so they're replace Henry Cavill." She loves Henry Cavill because he's mm -hmm. sexy and shirtless a lot. And uh, she's like, they probably replace it with trans and gay people. I'm like, oh shit! Oh my god! Well, they I don't did think not. this dude's gay. Yeah, no, he's he's gorgeous. He he's an quite... American actor, even though he looks very British. Wait, he's American? He is American. No. I thought he was British. I is the up. other bitch British? No, she's American. They're both American. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Something Brosnahan. Miss Maisel. Yeah, Miss Maisel. Mrs. Maisel. She shows her jubblies in the first episode. Does she? She's. I don't think she's that attractive, jubb. but she. I think she's very cute. Eh. Well, in what era do you think the marvelous Mrs. Maisel takes place in? Whoa, okay. <laughs> this makes wild sense. Guess. The forties? No, it's 30s? the sixties. Nah. It's the late sixties. So old enough for you. <laughs> she's in that, and I think she plays a real plucky reporter. So we'll. Uh, I I discuss that and more. No, oh, then they well it doesn't matter I was gonna say not my Superman because I do love me some Henry Cavill I also go through the idol again I do love this this one is good this image you don't like this image what is that is that Lizzo no 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 that is one of the actors she's actually really good what the heck is her name she plays one of the the idol girls managers and she's hilarious she's a really good actress uh Cannot remember her name. Shaniqua though. Johnson. Sure, whatever. But it was there was a lot of torture in this episode. Was there? Was a there lot a lot of, of nudity? Yes, there was. Yeah, jo Joss is naked essentially in every single scene. So, uh, what's her face is? It's uh, Johnny Depp's daughter. Is very naked. proud. Oh yeah, she's proud, loud, and and naked in every scene. The only thing that's missing from it is she did not have sex with any girls in it so far. Do you see the weekend's dick in this? Not yet. Although he does do some kung fu fighting. Not with his penis, though. It, it was close between him and another guy who is not attractive. There's a lot of unattractive guys in this. And unattractive girls? Uh, mm, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I didn't even talk about this, but I just wanted to point out. There's something that's real bizarre about this show. And when I do my full like season review, I think I'll talk about this. There's a girl who's naked in it, and you've already seen her naked, and then it, they come to reveal that in the show, she's 17. What? And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold I'm up. very aroused. Wait a minute. We know what kind of trap that Noob Noob falls in. <laughs> Parent trap? That's right. And we have our giveaway. We'll have a new one next week because we've already got them filmed. Yeah, we do. So and we I have another dragons, one maybe. coming out in several weeks where the way of water will blast you in the face. Dragons? What else? It'll super soak you. We did a bunch of the... Oh, some wick action. Yeah, we're going to murder people. Some hot wick. We're going to give some dragons but away. But 65 did not get a lot of people entering... We think we're going to give it to Ron Cold. We're calling it right now. In we're going to force even know. it into you. Ron Cold, you're taking this. Those you're little like it. Little baby T-Rex hands are going to pry open your butthole, and we're going to shove it in there. And this is the part where we'll also have a poll from Ron Cold, which he asked for. I think I could put it in the, in the episode at this point. I don't know that for sure, but I'm going to try real hard. He gave us a poll idea, and I'm okay with What's it. What's the gayest dinosaur? No. Nope. No, it has to do with, uh, he wants to know where the name Tink came from. Tink? 
Don't give it the answer because it'll be in our poll. Who's Tink? You'll find out that and more. What? And uh, that means we can move on. To the news? To the news! Oh, the news! Oh, yeah. We do news. Do news. We're getting nudes. I see a Germany movie later on Sunday with Indiana Jones, and I think there's oh, probably there some, Nazis. Some Nazis in it. There's Nazis. You just have to say it the right way. Some Nazis. Uzis with the Nazis. Uh, so Samuel L. Jackson's Avengers script got stolen and put online for sale. Marvel arranged a fake meeting to buy it back. And apparently... The original Avengers? Yes. The good Avengers, where they put together the team. Uh, I'm putting together a team. I you mean, the only bad Avengers I'm movie in. was Age of Ultron. That one is... Uh, well, I know it's a Joss Whedon thing, but it has some moments in it. It's not great overall. It's too jammed with stuff, but it has some good moments. That's what I'm saying. Like, all the Avengers movies were pretty good, but the worst one was Age of Ultron. Worse than Infinity War? Yeah. Well, are you serious? Infinity War was great. And the time track, not Infinity War. Uh, Endgame. Endgame. Yeah, yeah, Infinity War might be the best one. Infinity War is the best one. Yeah, then Avengers, then Endgame, then Age of Ultron. Mm. Of the Avengers movies. Mm. Endgame was just a little, like, disappointing because they tried to do time travel nonsense, and I hate when they do that. Yeah, but Endgame had really cool moments with the battle, the final battle. Uh, yeah, where all the girls got together and went girl girl power. Never mind. What about when uh, Morbius came in and said it's Morbius? It's that Morbin time. that was the best part of the movie. It is Morbin time. You should have just defeated Thanos that way. Just Morbin time. Or it's time Craven or... time. <laughs> Whatever nah, you want. Can't be. Can't be anything. I'm gonna go time. to the theater and when the first time I see Craven, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna shout, "It's Craven time!" I hope you get it. shot in the theater. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it says they shot one down. I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, they were, they, Marvel is going to beef up its security protocols and they, uh, they shoot down drones that fly over their production. So they, they said they shot, Jackson says they shot one down and they followed one back to where the dude was. Yeah, they found him and yeah, they got him. What does that mean? They beat him to death. What? Uh, there's some worse examples than that, is what Jackson sees. Remember when we got ready to do Avengers, someone printed out a copy of my Avengers script that had my watermark on it and put it online for sale. I'm going to say you did that, Sam Jack. <laughs> I was in Canada and Marvel came to Canada. It had been printed in the production office. They found out who the dude was. Dude quit, left the country, set up a fake buy for the script. Dude didn't show up. It was crazy. I guess he's out trying to produce, trying to like, Promote Secret Invasion, which is the worst rated Marvel show yet. Is it really? Yeah, it's the worst one. They did zero promotion for it, and it is has no stars in it except for Sam Jackson. It's supposed to be a secret. No, what do you mean? Amelia Clark's a star. Name three movies she's been in that aren't Game of Thrones because that's not a movie. Uh, The Night Before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Or no, wait. Mm-hmm. I think it's The Night Before Christmas. Mm-hmm. The Night Before. Nope. Jingle Balls? She was in a... Uh, Some Christ- Christmas movie She was in a liked. Christmas movie where she looked cute. Um, Terminator some- Genesis. Uh-huh. Terminator Genesis. Mm-hmm. And... This is a toughie. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, she was in... Uh, okay. Um... She might have been only in two movies other than Game of Thrones. Maybe you know Bad Bunny better than you know Amelia Clark. I didn't even know Bad Bunny was a person. I, I thought you bought the Bad Bunny meal. I did. Did you? Wait, no, no, that was the J Balvin meal. <laughs> the J, okay, sorry. The other rapper that's not that good. Okay. Or hip hop artist Isn't or whatever. is Bad Bunny something else too besides a rapper? He's something. <laughs> He's a bunny. Really? Very you bad. You missing at that one? It. What do you say? You saying he's a Mexican wrestler? No, I mean he wants to play one. El Muerto was pulled from Sony release schedule. Dude, no one knows what that is. I don't. I'm a. I'm pretty good with my comic books, right? And I don't know what it is. And also, nobody knows who Bad Bunny is. It's oh not like gosh. it's Jennifer Lopez playing El Muerto. Should I like give away some of my comic book collection on air? I could do that. Wow. Okay. I have, dude, what am I gonna do with them? Sell them for money? Meh. I like Spawn number one. Isn't I had the that first worth money? Of, 
like I don't know, thirty bucks or something. I have uh, first uh, first appearance of Gambit. It's kind of cool. Gambit like Channing Tatum Gambit. Yeah, like that guy. Oh, yeah. I have like some. Go- I have like all of the run of Jim Lee's X Men. All that stuff. I have some good stuff. Uh, but Sony Pictures said Wednesday it has removed from its release date El Muerto, the Bad Bunny starring Spider-Man spinoff movie directed by Jonas Cuaron. Columbia Pictures film is set to be... Why, why is it Columbia Pictures, but it's Sony? Sony owns Columbia Pictures. Do they? Yeah. Are you sure? No. They're saying this is the first time a Latino character leads a Marvel live film. Okay, because I feel like there's been Latino characters before Marvel. There must be somewhere. Not in Marvel. Are you sure about that? There was um, there was an Indian one. Indian what? There was an Asian one. There I'm was talking a- about before. Oh, you're talking about like Marvel Studios? Or are you talking about like way back in the way back machine? Like back in the Blade oh, days? The comic? And all no, stuff? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know shit about the comics. Okay. Well, that's I'm what I'm saying. I'm saying movies. Okay. Well, you don't even know the movies anyway. I know there's an Asian one. Uh-huh. There's a black one. There's a white one. There's several white ones. <laughs> several white ones. Uh, there's... The um Bad Bunny's never acted before. Why would he get a No, movie? he was in uh Bullet Train. I'm sure anyone cared about that. It wasn't that he good. He was he had a I thought you liked that movie. It was worse than I thought, but not terrible. Okay, but and Bad Bunny was exceptional in it. No. Did he, he have was, any lines? He I think he spoke English. Good good job. Was yeah. this not I, I'm looking forward to Blue Beetle, but not this. Oh, Zolo? I love that dude. I, the kid is great. Yeah, I would. I will. I'm actually looking forward to see that. I that, think that I will support it because I love Cobra Kai and that kid is great. He is. He can totally carry. Except a movie. although charming. George Lopez, like, mm. oh, and him saying that Batman is a fascist. Yeah. Yeah, but that could be like just his character saying that, not him. Do you know what I mean? Like the character would be like, Bat-. he could be like Superman's a racist and Batman's a. Fa-. He could be like a kook, like a like a conspiracy kook. It could be. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt till I see it. What if they cut that line? They cut from Indiana Jones, the uh, the capitalism line from the trailer. There was a capitalism line? Yeah, they were like, something about me stealing stuff from you and giving it to myself is just, that's just capitalism. They cut that from the movie. Oh. That was Phoebe Waller-Bridge saying that, who's super annoying. I don't know who that is. Oh, you're going you're, to you're gonna find her very attractive. Is she the kid? She, the kid... The, Did you see how old that bag is? The, the that daughter of bag? Indiana Jones? The goddaughter of Indiana Jones? Oh, a okay. 40-year-old woman? Is she 40? She, she ain't no kid. Is she 40? She's just not a kid. Shit. Yes. Where's Shia LaBeouf? He should be in there. He should be, but he's dead. Do they say I'm he's dead? I'm pretty sure they say he's dead. Oh, my God. I think he died in Vietnam. Just spoiler. Sorry. That doesn't make any sense. What? Yeah, because he's in the 60s when you meet Mutt. The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is in the 60s. Is it? Yeah. You didn't know that? What? And then he he goes into Vietnam and he dies. You're kidding. Nope. Are you, are you really? You know? I thought this movie... What? That movie came out in like 2009. That's not the 60s, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh, you thought it was present day in the end? Yeah. Time. Okay. Well, you know what else is not present day? Spider-Man. Mm-mm. Nope. Fubar. Okay. I reviewed it. It was good. I enjoyed it. There's the hot girl from um, Top and she Gun. she gets to do the hanky-panky. Yeah, Top Gun. She does the hanky-panky. My daughter in the you show. You never finish these shorts, by the way. That's because YouTube is not being very nice to us, even though we like Hansel's nigga very much. I feel like you've worked on that accent a lot for those shorts, though. I've been doing it for a very long time, very much. It's good. Get, get it. It's You're good. Like autistic Arnold. I'm playing old Arnold. I'm having a little trouble talking anymore. It's very difficult. His so, English is superb right now. Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Yeah. He had to be a governor. He had to speak. I'm lot. the governor. I could speak. I got to do the, I, I, I use the uh, cigars to make friends. We will go sit outside and smoke cigars with the Democrats and the Republicans. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Is he Democrat? 
mm, I was a Republican, but I am Republican in name only. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. I, they were like they, they, there was a. Uh, I watched the autobiography of Arnold, which was very interesting. I also like to grab the women's boobies in their bottoms. It was very nice when I was the Mister Universe, is the biggest man on earth. It was what? Conan the Barbarian? Oh my God! You never seen Conan the Barbarian? I have not actually. Are you kidding me? Nope. Is oh my God! Never seen it. Oh my gosh! What about Red Sonia? Red Sony? Sonia. Nope. How about Conan the Conqueror? Nope. Is that one? It's Conan the Barbarian. Oh, Conan the Destroyer. Nope. Oh my God. How you've have you seen Predator? Yep. How about Total Recall? Yeah, the one with Colin Farrell. I love that. Oh my God! You never saw the original? No. What is for you? Quite you're not a movie fan. The original are you? is Colin Farrell. It is. Not. What about uh, Running Man? Why is he running? From your gay thoughts? I saw the one where he buys the, the toy. Curtain Kindergarten Cop. No, but that's not the one where he buys the toy. Yeah, Who's your daddy and what does he do? True Lies? That's a movie that James Cameron did. Uh, What's the one where he buys the toy? It's Kindergarten Cop. No, no it's, it's uh Jingle All the Way. That's a good movie, too. Yeah, with, with Sinbad in it? Yeah. Uh-huh. I saw those. I played the action figure in that one. What about Last Action Hero? Did you ever see me in Twins with Danny DeVito? He's very tiny. He's a little guy. He's very oh, yeah. small. I saw that too. You saw Twins? Uh -huh. There's no way you saw Twins. I think it's so. It's from the 80s. You never saw it. I think I remember it. You were too high in the 80s to watch any of that. High on cocaine. Anyway, enough of that. But FUBAR opens number one on the streaming charts. Apparently Citadel was popular too. And you only watched one episode. But it beat out, uh, what did it beat? It beat Succession and it beat something else. What did I say it beat? It beat some stuff. Beat your way. Oh, Ted Lasso? Oh, it beat Ted Lasso. I heard the last season of Ted Lasso was terrible. Yeah, who cares? And Succession I've never watched and never even heard of. I heard I mean, Succession is fantastic. I've heard it's great, just like Billions is great, but I don't care. I don't care about rich white people. We support the poor classes. Yes, we're all about the poors. Are you about the fact that Across the Spider-Verse has multiple vi versions in the theater? That doesn't make any sense. Why not? They released multiple th versions. The, it, it's happened before. But what's the difference? I don't know. They were waiting. They, I was wondering when people might start noticing. So one thing that used to happen back in the day that they don't do as much anymore is they used to release different versions of movies. Like apparently no one's ever seen the original, like the original, original Star Wars 1977 cut theatrical release is impossible to find. Like no one has a copy of it. They just have whatever's been edited afterwards. Uh, just like I remember when I saw Aliens, I don't know if I saw it in the theater, but I remember seeing a cut of Aliens that didn't exist, and I had to buy a version on a VHS of a director's cut from James Cameron, which I think I still own. James because Cameron did both one and two? He did No, no. Uh, Ridley Scott did oh, Aliens. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Aliens was done by James Cameron, which and I had a... There was no way to get the director's cut before DVDs and all that stuff, so I had to buy a VHS copy of it. And you can't even play your VHS anymore. Sure you can if you have a VHS player. They don't exist. Yes, they do. Mm. Buy one in like Target. No, I don't think that's yes, true. Yes, you can. You can buy like a, D a VHS to DVD converter like anywhere. For really? like 30 bucks. Yeah. Oh my God. You could take all. The only thing you can't do is take all of your Betamaxes. Is that before VHS? It was the competitor with VHS. Or your, you, I guess if it's you, it would be real to real. Is that what you had? What? When you were growing up, did you have like a thing that you, a projector you used to I hook had up? Kodak pictures. I thought you had, and you had like wooden toys and, and black phone and white. sex lines that I called in with like <laughs> a rotary phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you yeah. still have all your rotary phones? Yeah. Did you have one of those phones that you would like crank and like listen to? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Those were a good value. You saved on energy costs. Because you'd hand crank it. Yeah, the three light bulbs that were in my house were expensive. <laughs> yeah, but they would last forever. 
They would because they I crank the rotary. Yeah, but now you know about planned obsolescence with light bulbs, right? Planned Parenthood. Yep. Wait, planned ob ob obsolescence. obscured lessons. <laughs> obscured lessons. Yeah. Obsolescence. What made up word is that? Never heard of that. No. Planned obsolescence. No, I have not. Are you serious? Or are you just messing with me? I don't know. I'm a Do you drunk. really want me to talk to you about this? Do you really care about planned obsolescence? It depends what it is. Oh, my God. It just means that they used to be able to make light bulbs that would last, like, forever. Not forever, but, like, for a very, very long, like, multiple, multiple, multiple And then capitalism. Yeah, they made them so that they would break intentionally. Fucking capitalism, man. Yeah, that was... Well, I mean, we love capitalism. Capitalist prick. We also hate... Pricks. The pricks. Yeah. Uh, So, which version did you see? The gay one. I... Yep, that's what I thought. Yep. You saw that you so she looked a little more manly to you, didn't she? Just like she did. She looked like no, she, she looked been like trans. she wanted like a black dick, not a white one. So, you know, she's going to get it, obviously. She, but is she a gay man? Either way, she's getting the dick. Okay. So I, I think that she's she's earned it at this point. Would she wear a dress? Up to her. What she, whatever she's comfortable with, honestly. I mean, the point of this is there's multiple versions, but. She might wear a dress, maybe Princess Leia's dress. Oh, we're not going to say that the hundred people walked out because of the oh, thing or I don't whatever. Care about that. The hundred uh, animators. Yeah. Yeah. So p- apparently, uh, Phil Lord and what's the other guy's name? Miller. It's Miller and Lord. Yeah. The dire- They're not even like the full directors. They're like the producer director guys. They push their animators so hard that they uh, over a hundred walked out. Oof. So they they were doing that. What do they call that? The crush or the crunch time? Crunch time? Yeah, I don't know. Captain Crunch time? Oh my god, I haven't had cereal in so long. Oh my god, what are you trying to thin down? Cereal's good. I, now I now I kind of want cereal. Lucky Charms? Yeah, Fruit Loops. Oh my gosh, we should have a poll of what's your favorite cereal? Frosted Flakes. <sighs> That's a tough one. Honey Grams? Honey, oh, what about uh, Golden Smacks? Do they even oh, sell them anymore? Fuck me. No, they do, I think. Are you sure? I think that frog is long gone. I would want to be Golden Smacked in the face of those. Well, apparently a lost and bloodied Princess Leia dress from Star Wars is up for $2 million in auction. You, you too, can live in uh, Carrie Fisher's blood. Oh, by the way, Carrie Fisher, who died... Cocaine is a hell of a drug... Uh, she died during the making of uh, The Last Jedi because Ryan Johnson killed her. Uh, maybe. With co- a cocaine overdose because he made her do cocaine on set. Yes. So Carrie Fisher wanted to be buried in a Prozac pill uh, container. Like her, her, her uh, what do they call those things that hold corpses? Coffin? That's it. So they made a coffin that looked like a Prozac pill and put her in it. And then Ryan Johnson immediately inserted it into his anus. What the fuck? It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little kinky. It's a little weird. <laughs> well, this medieval style dress was worn by Carrie Fisher in 1977. Star Wars A New Hope. It's the only Princess Leia outfit from the mo- from that movie which has ever been discovered. When I was first told about that dress... The dress. I simply couldn't believe it, props collector Stephen Lane told the Post. I've been collecting for 30 years, and it's one of the most exciting finds of my career. It had been kept by a member of the British crew as a memento, while many of the other costumes were thrown away. I mean, it needs a little deeper V, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. (laughs) Looking like a snack. Would you wear that dress? Yeah. Could you fit in that dress? If you paid me that auction price. There's no... Wow, you're not getting that. Two million dollars? I'd cut the slit open in the middle. Let my girls hang out. <laughs> Collectors have been searching for like 40 years for this dress. So why is it bloodstained? The once ripped bloodstained gown. Why is it bloodstained? Well, that's a lot of... You know, there's a lot of red flags for whoever's buying this. Yeah, unless you want to clone Carrie Fisher. But that also means there's probably a lot of drugs She's going to be a crack baby. You could, yes. If you cloned her like that, she would be. They found food, wine, and even blood. What? <laughs> they had to analyze all the marks on the dress. 
There's probably a lot of cocaine, maybe some Harrison Ford uh, semen. No, bad joke. No. See why? Why semen? I fell asleep. They they were having sex during the movie. Were they? Yeah. Wait, did he have sex with Princess Leia? Uh huh. Did he really? Yeah. They're also high on cocaine and drunk and used to. There's a part in one of the movies where I think he's like Carrie. <laughs> like they just called really? out. Really? Yeah. There's. Oh my saying. god. Yes. Um. Well. That sounds like Star Trek should be can- or Star Wars should be canceled along with Star Trek. Did you, you didn't even know this was a thing? Nope. Star Trek Prodigy is going to be canceled and removed from Pro- from Paramount Plus. Uh, wh- wh- you know why it gets removed? Not gay enough. No, because it get because <laughs> it gets uh they they get the tax write off if they get rid of it. So Star Trek Prodigy is joining Greece Rise of the Pink Ladies. I could have told you that would have been canceled. Queen of the Universe, don't even know what that is. And The Game is the latest series to be axed for some cash exchange from the IRS. What are we doing wrong with the IRS? Why can't we just, why can't I cut like Noob Noob and get a tax break on it? Because I'm too valuable. Oh my gosh. They have valuated you. I would think they would have valuated you at a loss. Indeterminable. Oh my gosh. I'm like better than gold. I'm white gold. <laughs> Maybe we should call you that from now on. Yeah, white gold, baby. Uh, Catherine J- Janeway? Janeway? Zeta Captain Jones. Catherine? What's her name? Zeta Captain Zeta Janeway. Is it? Zeta Jones. It's, no. It's Ka- it, Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> is not a part of this. trying to kill her cancer-ridden Michael Douglas husband. Oh, uh, but didn't he say he got cancer from eating her out too much? He probably did. I think he said he did. That weird Zeta Jones pussy does uh, some strange things. <laughs> I'm glad that this this show is not for the children. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's one of those Star Trek things, which sounds terrible. Just like Star Trek Section 31 movie, Star Trek Starfleet Academy, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Lower Decks, and the final disco- final season of Discovery, all of those things should be canceled. They're all terrible. The only thing that was good was Picard Season 3, just Season 3, not 1 and 2, and potentially Star Trek, like, I don't know if it's called Legacy or something, the cast from Picard Season 3, after they eat Picard. What? What? They eat Picard? Yeah. He's very tasty. Jesus Christ. It was cannibals on that Star Trek. But from cannibals to can I get a hell yeah for Paddington? Oh, my God, yes. Yes, you love yourself some Paddington. I'm pretty sure Paddington 2 is rated like the number one movie of all time. Because it is the number one movie of all time. How is it better than Paddington 1? More Marmalade. More marmalade. More bears. Less Catherine Zeta Jones. There is no. I, I'm not 100 percent positive whether she's in or not in this movie. <laughs> is she in Paddington Two? I don't know. I don't Can you name anyone in Paddington Two besides Paddington Bear? White people. Why do you like Paddington Bear? Because he's look at him. He's wearing a hat. He's do you know what kind of bear he is? Uh, marmalade. Bear. Nope. Brown bear. Nope. Honey wheat bear. <laughs> Honey wheat bear. Um, he is a California king bear. <laughs> nope. A rape bear. <laughs> Black bear? <laughs> he is some kind of bear, but I forget which kind. I was just curious if you knew. Norwegian I forget. sea kraken he's not, bear. He's definitely not a, a, not a brown bear, and he's not a, I thought he was a sloth bear, but I don't think so. He's some other type of bear. You can Google that. But Paddington is back in a three call. Paddington in Peru. Is it maybe he's a Peruvian bear? He gets himself into a sticky wicket in the deepest, darkest Peru, the country of his birth. He's a Peru- Peruvian. He's pretty British. Brown bear. It's been six years since the second film hit the franchise. And the and the brown bear. He's not a brown bear. Uh would you like a triple marmalade sandwich? Yes. Why did really you good. look? How do you? I don't know what marmalade even tastes like. You've never had orange marmalade? Never. You're kidding. I, why would I eat like that? If you go to a breakfast restaurant, they got like grape jelly, nope. mixed jelly, strawberry, and First they got of all, marmalade. The orange jelly shit? is uh, just sugar. Yeah. Tastes delicious. Yeah. I mean, if we want to sl- slather. What do you put on your toast? 
butter and oh my god if you say butter and jelly that is disgusting I, I would rather have just jelly but I would rather not have just butter what do you mean butter is what you put on toast no you put other stuff like, like jelly no nope. ketchup <laughs> what yeah ketchup on toast yeah jelly I used to do this as a kid oh my gosh so we have to have a uh, toast challenge where you just sample different things on toast yeah I used to dip I used to put uh, jelly on my ketchup <laughs> and then oh, dip it or, Ketchup and jelly? Yeah, I used to what? do that. Yeah. What are you insane? It was weird, but it tastes good. It's weird and kinky, baby, and I yeah. ain't going back. I used to, yeah, cheese Cocaine omelet. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <clears throat> cheese omelet and uh, jelly, toast, and is, ketchup. Is that why? And what about your champagne of choice? Isn't that a brunch? Rose. No, you didn't do brunch? Uh, no, as a child? Last time we saw Paddington, he was, he was memorably enjoying a tea with the late Queen of England. Two. Holy shit. That's she awesome. was a sequel? I didn't even know that. I did not know that either. Queen Elizabeth II? She's dead now. She is dead. H- hailed, wait, uh, long live the queen. What's Maybe that? Maybe Meghan Markle can be in this one. Uh, pretty sure she's too lazy to be in this one. She is lazy. Very lazy. You know who's not lazy? This is a lot. You know who is not lazy? Who? Ryan Seacrest. The hardest working... Gay man, straight in man Hollywood. in Hollywood. Yeah, I swear he has a girlfriend who he does absolutely has the sexes with. One hundred percent has the sexes with. Yep, you believe that, correct? I one hundred percent do. What do you think about Pat? Say, well, first of all, Pat Sajak, if he wants to retire, is allowed to retire. But what do you think about Ryan Seacrest taking over? Uh, I, I don't know. I, you don't, you like it. You don't like it. Who Do you cares? Think- I don't watch wheel of fortune cause I'm not 90 years old. <laughs> oh, you're just 60 years old. Yeah, so no, okay. that's, I got another 30 years for that show. Okay. So, so you just haven't hit that. I yet. watched jeopardy like a true American, <laughs> like a true American, even though what, mm. who's your favorite host now? Aaron Rodgers. Now that, uh, uh what's his face? Uh, my Alex Trebek is deck. Breastfeed my kids past five. Ma- oh my God. Is she one of those people? Yeah, she's did one Did she of those. really do that? She's like, so. they're like 10 years old, still breastfeeding. I think so. Yeah, How long did you breastfeed? She's y'all? a weird bitch. I, my mom was not letting still her tits breastfeed go. you. No, no. Oh, she was she like, you're not getting my tits. She's like immediately put you yeah, on. Yeah, no, she put me on formula and uh, cookies. That's why you're brain dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she said, you're not getting my tits. No. Like, Mommy, I want your tits. Nope. You're yeah, like, no, nope. she would not let up the tits. So Ryan Seacrest has taken over. A lot of people have a lot of feelings about this. Ryan loves wheel as much as we do. I think he likes the paycheck, my friends. He doesn't love wheel of, of fortune. The longtime American. I, does he still do American Idol? Yeah, he does. Oh, my God. Unfortunately. Wasn't he a co-host at one time? There was like another dude who was with him. I don't even know. Imagine that guy now. He's probably he was hanging out with a man with Ryan Bynes. and Kelly. Yeah, but I'm saying that the guy who used to co-host American Idol with Ryan Seacrest. Simon Cow. No, there was two hosts. I don't think so. Yes, there was. Nick Cannon. There was another equally straight guy. Nick Cannon. No. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to look this up. Ryan Seacrest co-host. I'm telling you, there was two guys co-host American Idol, right? American Idol. There was another guy. Yeah, there was another guy. There's another guy. See, look, there's this weird, these weird guys. You were going to say weird look at that black guy. guy? Brian Dunkelman. The fuck is that? <laughs> so Brian Dunkelman, I think he um, probably does uh, cocaine with Amanda Bynes now. Oh, my God. What, mm. Let's see if is Brian Dunkelman still alive. Imagine those two career trajectories. It's like chaos theory. You yeah. get Ryan Seacrest who just keeps making more money and being and, more gay <laughs> discreetly. And Brian Dunkelman, who yeah. is, uh, he was, he was used to be the first season co-host of American Idol. Oof. I knew there was something going on there. Why he left Idol? I don't know. Why did he quit? Due to the terrible way they treated the young contestants. He was standing up for himself. What's he doing now? Nothing. Cause he's dead. <sighs> Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Oh, <laughs> allegedly. He's probably a manager at AutoZone or something. <laughs> he probably is. I don't have the time to look this up. 
All right, who gives a shit about Wheel of Fortune? What do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we got, that's you're out. You're an outrage. It's time to get outrageous. Are we getting outrageous? It's an outrage. Oh, we gotta watch some videos, God. but I gotta make sure these videos don't make noise. Yeah, don't do that. I'm gonna try my best to not make some noise, cause you know I gotta pull double duty in this one. Um, you know how there's a phrase in Australia. <clears throat> Where a dingo ate my baby. Mm -hmm. Well, in this story, a dingo ate my butthole. Oh my god! Footage shows wild Australian dingo dog. <laughs> they called a dingo dog biting a woman on the butt amid a string of canine attacks mm -hmm. in the in an island paradise. He goes right for that booty hole. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Okay, so here's the question, though: as a dingo. Are you going for the booty hole because you're trying to eat the woman from the booty hole out? Or are you doing it because you like to eat out some booty hole? I, I want to say you need the booty hole. That's what you're I... You're eating the booty hole. Yeah. If you're a dingo, you're eating... I'm a dingo. The, I can't tell how hot this woman is, but I feel like she is packing some heat down the dingleberry region. <laughs> so you're going right for the she booty hole. She doesn't seem like a strong wiper. Oh, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. Uh, the incident occurred in Kagari, an island tourist destination in Queensland last month. The animal, oh, this animal right shit. here, was humanely euthanized following several other incidents. What the fuck? He's just a booty hole eater. That's a piece of shit. Let's see if I can find the video. It's not the dingo's fucking fault. It is. Because he bit that woman's booty. She was clearly presenting herself. She was. Well, we'll see. Let's Let's catch him in the act as... This poor dingo is now deceased. Oh, he has some friends with him. So he starts sniffing this very tan woman. He's like, oh, look at a boot. Oh, right in the booty. What? He just went for a little nibble. He just, uh, here we go again. He's <clears throat> sniffing around. He's got some friends with him. What about his friends? They're not dogs, people. He's sniffing the booty. She gets up. Oh, right in the booty. He needs to stop biting people. That's fine. I look at him chasing people, going for more, more booty holes. <laughs> He's a menace to all booty holes in the area. He's like, I am the booty hole eater. Why do you got to ruin this dog's life just because he likes the booty? Uh, apparently, there was a more severe incident earlier this month when a 10-year-old boy was dragged, dragged underwater by a dingo on the island and rescued by his 12-year-old sister. That sounds like fake I'm gonna news. I'm going to say he probably deserved it. Or it's fake news. He's probably trying to rape the dingo. Kagari, also known as Fraser Island, is 76 miles long and the largest sand island in the world, known for its pristine beaches, lakes, and wildlife. I'm sure there are more deadly things than dingoes on this island. Like... Yep. Like... Rape spiders. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Sharks. Are there sharks in Australia? Oh, yeah. That's like where there's like all the great whites. Not all of them, but there's a lot of them. Uh, there's about 200 wild dingoes, and the indigenous, indigenous name is Wangari. So you got to stay away from them Wangari. But I think what we really need to talk about, and Tim Dillon already beat me to the punch because I had this story before Tim Dillon did. But that's okay. We can have concurrent thoughts. We're going to talk about sharks. And sharks evolving. Yes. We've had several stories about sharks recently. First, we had that kid who on a dare jumped off of a boat. And uh, there was a, like an image of a shark that probably got... The kid was never recovered. He jumped on, he, on a dare at night. He jumped sure. off of a cruise liner. Then there was the story of the man in Egypt where he was just swimming and a shark came up and just ate him alive. And then the natives pulled a shark out of the water and beat it to death with sticks. Well, now I think sharks are starting to learn the upper hand. Maybe they've been talking to the orcas that are smashing boats, but this shark pulls a man into the river. Oh my God. This is not the greatest video, but man sticks his hand in the river. Shark goes, oh, oh, grabs Jesus. him, pulls him right in the river. Did the Instagram. He no, he got out before the shark could do any more damage. 
But in the Everglades National Park, a group of fishermen experienced a terrifying incident. Oh, God. When a shark pulled a man into the river because he, he put his hand in there. It was a little better on Instagram because you could see him, them pulling his hand. I think sharks are evolving. They're learning how to kill more efficiently. Should we consider shark? Should we, A, should we declare war against sharks? Yes. Should we annihilate all the sharks? Mm. People first. Really? This is the one animal that you're going to take people over sharks? No, no, no. I'm saying, no, no, no. I'm oh, saying you want to annihilate people. people first. Kill the people first. So feed the people to the sharks. Yep. Sharks will feel better about themselves. And not want to eat people because they're full. That is a good point. If you keep the sharks full, perhaps they will stop eating people. I think that makes a lot of sense. Could you? Ch- but can you charge a shark in a court of law? Depends on if he's a legal person. Is a shark a legal person? Do we give citizenship to sharks? We should. Can they vote? Yes. Will they vote the same as the rest of those Democrats? Orange man shark. <laughs> orange man shark? What about yeah. orange shark rad? I hope that too. <laughs> Sharks. I'd like to drink a lot of sharky orange juice. Sharky orange juice? Yeah. Would you eat shark fin soup? I had shark for food. You did? Yeah. You in, ate a shark? In Iceland. Oh, hot Carl? Sure. Is that what it's called? It's fermented shark. I had fermented shark. Yeah, it's, it's, it smells like urine. Uh, it tastes smel- like urine. It's, no, it tastes like methanol. No, it's not methanol. It's something else. Well, then I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what is that flavor? I'm so I should know this. It because it because basically the sharks have urine in their body anise? and then it ferments. Is it anise? It's definitely not licorice. <laughs> it's definitely not licorice. Licorice piss. I think people say it like Clorox or something. no. It's something not good. Was it tasty? Yeah, it was all right. Oh, there there was a uh, what what is that? There's a um a type of like like Norwegian whiskey that has a specific flavor. I, I don't have it, no? unfortunately. Wow. Well, I know where somewhere you can get it. We can have a taste test, so maybe we'll talk about it. Oh my god. Uh well, it said you are a friend of the sharks. We'll keep going. Uh I would like to get out on sharks because I'd like to shove it in. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you going to shove it in Zendaya? Yes. Really? Depends on how naked she is. Uh, I'm going to say not at all. You really like that picture? No, I don't. (gasps) Yeah, Yeah, you enjoy that? I don't know. She looks good sometimes. They're going to say this is a tennis rom-com? It looks like more of a dark comedy. Yeah, it kind of looks... It doesn't look like a rom-com. It does not look like a rom-com. It looks like a drama movie. Yeah, because it looks like she's uh, taking the, uh, what's that girl who's like, oh my gosh, she was in Twilight, she's real messed Kristen up. Kristen Stewart? Yeah, and she does double handies in a movie. No. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zendaya's, except Zendaya won't show the double handies. She's just, they give her a close up while she's doing the, Yeah. mmm, double handies. Let's have fun, boys. This is a tennis movie, though, and I, I play some tennis, so... You I th- don't. I think I'm in. Mm-hmm. Although she does not... She looks super cunty in this. And I don't know if I like that. I'd I her, her am just cute. not into this at all. It looks like a twink sandwich. With That's what she Zendaya. says, basically. She She's says like, all sandwich? these white boys I have. They're the... Weakest looking tennis players I've ever seen. I don't know why they would think that those two gentlemen would be uh, good tennis players because if you look at like what's his name, Dojic, and like all the other really good tennis players, like don't they look pretty um, intense, masculine, muscular guys, like fit, like very fit? They do. These guys look like twinks. That's yeah. Have you ever seen a twink win a tennis tournament? I have not. Okay, so I don't understand why are they making this movie. Because tennis is cool. With twinks? And Zendaya is hot. Nah. Just maybe not in this that much. Just you were still not. into her when she was doing the transgender and euphoria? Just what? There's a transgender. 
Is and she had sex with him? I think so. Oh no. Oh no. You never watched Euphoria? No. Me either. <laughs> she doesn't show her tits, so I don't care. You are correct. Yeah. She ain't gonna do it in this either. Look, she looks she's got that pouty bitch face. Yeah, she needs to be slapped in that picture. This is where she's getting... Oh, there she is. She's getting ready to do the double handy. Yeah. She don't look like she's equipped for double handies. No, she also looks 12 in that picture. She looks not that excited for yeah. double handies. I'm out. I'm in. I'll probably see it. It's called... Uh, Challenges. It's set to Rihanna's s and It begins with Tashi Zendaya at the top of her tennis career, meeting her best friends, Art and Patrick, forming a fierce love triangle. I don't care about any of this. This is a waste of time. It's so fierce. All right, let's move on. I'm in. I want to get to the review. Oh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. What do you want to talk about? Uh, let's get Resident Evil over with first. Well, I'd have to. They're not gonna have a review of that on Rotten. They're Tomatoes. not. I don't need to review it. It's a game that happened several years ago. And, and this is a remake of it. And they remade it just like they remade Resident Evil Two and Resident Evil Three. And it's awesome. It looks great. I heard they changed great. some things. You think I remember that shit? They took it out. You don't remember whether or not uh, the president's daughter has a... Then they put her in like fully like she's basically wearing uh, a hijab? I No, because we had... She doesn't have a short dress on anymore. And uh, no one talks about her big jubblies getting in the way. You can... And she's armed to the teeth. No, you can, you can have her have jubblies and short dress. Mm-hmm. I think. I think you watched the same game that I I'm not sure we about. had costumes on because my friend beat it nasty made it beat it several times already so we you had costumes co- oh okay I thought you guys wore costumes while playing no no no, no, no. I, I would have paid to see that yeah but again game's great game looks great oh uh, so maybe he had mods on he did oh okay yeah but anyone who's a fan of Resident Evil 4 from GameCube and PS2 days, you should you should play this shit. It out was of it. at one point one of the best games ever. We uh I think we beat it, we sped run it sort of in like four and a half hours. I don't know. We 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 put some shit in. Alright. We, we did you it. Pushed some shit. We pushed some shit in. Los Plagas or Los Plogos or Coelho, Coelho. Yeah. Coelho. What are you what? Is looking at Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Black Mirror. Okay. What did you think I was looking at? I don't know. Black Panther. Black Man! Black Man! Uh, I'm going to try to get to season six. It's season six of Black Mirror. Oh, my God. And you know what? I actually agree with it, and I disagree with Chris Gore. Chris Gore, who is a movie reviewer who I like a lot and respect quite a bit, but he's not like your average film goer. He's a, he's a movie critic, and he's good at it, but I don't agree with him on this one. Uh, season six of Black Mirror. Black Mirror is the weird sci-fi. Basically, it's like Tales from the Crypt. Not Tales from the Crypt, but more like... Uh, what are those weird shows called? Uh, t- there was like Tales from the Dark Side and uh, the real famous one that I'm completely forgetting what it's called. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not about. Black Mirror. You don't know what like, all those like weird, bizarre future ones were? Anthology? Uh, yeah, they are anthologies, but it's it steals from like this one. No, Love, Death, and Robots. No, it's way before that. I have no idea. It's like old. It was black and white. I've actually seen most of them. Charlie Chaplin. No, not even close. I you uh, the out. It's not the Outer Limits, which I used to watch too. Outer Limits was actually very good. Outer Limits. So you've never seen any Black Mirrors? Remember Miley Cyrus? Uh, yeah. It's super famous. If I told you what it is, you would know what it is. I don't know, man. Who cares? I do. Is it Black Mirror? No. (laughs) Dude, you're going to aggravate me. (laughs) It's, oh, The Twilight Zone. Good gravy. Oh. It's like the most famous TV show ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. I was like, I would rather extract Twin my Peaks. teeth yeah, than Twin having Peaks. a conversation Twin Peaks. Twin with Peaks. you. Got it. Twin Peaks. So season six has the critic consensus of 77%. Audience score at 44%. Critic consensus with the yield of installments that range from instant classic to woefully undercooked. 
Black Mirror's six volume indicates series that's no longer on the bleeding edge of sci-fi and hardly resting, but hardly resting on its lofty laurels. This was not sci-fi. Do you remember what I told you about like how some of the older Black Mirrors dealt with like cool sci-fi stuff? Like people could get an uh, like uh, they could get like an ocular implant, you know, an eye implant yeah. where they could have mm-hmm. perfect recall of exactly what happened and how that would destroy your life. Yeah, if you actually had perfect recall on how you would obsess over it. Sure. And then there was like another one about like drones and like the future of drones and how they would kill people or whatever. Absolutely. Okay, well, this is none of those things. Basically, the first episode is called Joan is Awful. I did a whole video on it, and it's about how Netflix will eventually just be terrible because it'll only do shows about people and about actual real people, and it'll just use uh, AI-created content, and it's stupid and annoying. And this is the one that that um that some people seem to like that they Chris Gore thought this one was great. And I was like, it's so meta. It's stupid. I don't care. It had Catherine Zeta Jones. No, not She's Catherine old. Zeta Jones. And they had, um, Oh my God. Brie was, Larson. They almost had Brie Larson. Who is the woman who, uh, Sama Hayek and Ben Barnes is in it. it it's like, I, I just, I, I, I couldn't stand it. It was a terrible episode. Lock Henry was about like true crime, but it was really boring. And the woman, like the fir- the like the guys, ma- like the main woman who's in it, doesn't have any eyebrows, and that's kind of annoying. Beyond the Sea was really good because it had Jesse Pinkman in it, and it had uh, Josh Hartnett is apparently acting again, which is pretty exciting. Katie Mara looked like a weirdo that's had too much work done. Sounds about right. That episode was 85%. And this is interesting. They're rating each episode. Uh, oh, my God. The critics love Jonah's Awful. I, could, I couldn't stand that one. It was terrible. Uh, Lock Henry. What did they rate that? The critics rated it 85%. Kind of boring. And no eyebrows. Beyond the Sea, I liked the most. 85%, which was about um, guys in space. And they have, uh, it's like an alternate reality where in the 60s, instead of sending people into space, they sent, they do send people into space, but they have robotic avatars that still live on Earth, which is kind of weird. Maisie Day, which is super boring, uh, 54% is about paparazzi, and I can't, I, I, I was like, bleh. And then Demon 79, I actually kind of liked, it was a little quirky, but it was kind of like, whatever. They gave that one 100%. So wh- why do the, the critics gave it? I don't understand. That doesn't equal 77%. The math does not add up here. No, but uh, do I recommend it? No, it kind of jumped the shark when they had Miley Cyrus on it, and it's not really worth watching anymore. If you want to watch the one with the most famous celebrities, watch Beyond the Sea. All the rest of them are a waste of time. But you know what's not a waste of time? My hardness. What was it called? My hard feelings. No, what's it No hard called? feelings. No hard feelings. Yeah, with Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, am I starting to make you like this after I criticize her- you for not liking it? No, I, what do you? I never said I didn't like it. You didn't like, and you said she wasn't cute in it, and she looks kind of cute in here. What? She I don't s- look cute there. No, for you're making shit up. I'm not. You 100 percent those said, things. I I didn't. You were you were like, eh, she's not so. No, good I looking. said it was pretty good. I said I you can't said tell if I. she's attractive or not. Oh, okay, because she's not. She's too old for you. She's you know the when same they age hit thirty me. something. Hmm. Well, first of all, you're 60. But yeah. when they when they hit 30 something, they're too old for you. You prefer them younger. She also popped out a kid, so I'm like, mm, she's been wrecked internally. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. You didn't think she she does a full nude scene in this. I like, don't know if that's true. Full frontal nudity. Yeah. I, she says she did. She claims she did. I def there's definitely a body double or something, but or it's CGI. a weird it's a weird look. When the scene happens, it was it's jarring. insane, right? It's it jarring. was jarring uh-huh. to have a naked Jennifer Lawrence fight a bunch of child. Childs? children, 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 fight a bunch of children because they stole their clothes naked. Critics have it at sixty-eight percent. Audience score at eighty-eight percent. Chris Gore loved this, by the way. He Why do you was... know so much about Chris Gore? Because I watch Film Threat. All right, Film Threat. It's They're... it's a good. It's solid. It's not as, like all the funny parts are in the trailer, but eh, it's a solid movie. It's got Critic a, consensus says this raunchy comedy often plays it's disappointingly safe. Safe. Jennifer Lawrence gets butt naked and you're going to call it safe. But Jennifer Lawrence's comedic and dramatic chops ensure that the end result 
prompts no hard feelings. Yeah, I, it's a, it's good. Like it, it's for what I'm trying to think of the last rom com that's been out or whatever raunchy rom com. I can't. There think hasn't of it. been one a long exactly. time. Exactly. So it's, it's worth seeing for that uh, that genre. And Jennifer Lawrence is good. That younger kid, I actually liked him. He was he was pretty good. He was he was like a weird dude. He played it well. Kind of uh, like uh, McLovin, but making it felt like a lo- how long is that movie? Does it say? Uh, it does. I was going to read something. It's one hour and forty three minutes. It felt a little long for an hour and forty three minutes, to be honest. But again, it it was it was good. Why do the critics hate it? The movie gets more and more solemn and talky and full of lesson learning. Okay. Kind of, I guess. Yeah, like it's it's more. It it does gear towards dramatic it's not it just appears to be a raucous sex comedy but it ends up sentimental and predictable kind of spoiler j-law does a full frontal nude scene and gives i don't even want to give it away so let's just say she gets into some mortal combat yeah these negative reviews aren't really negative they're just saying what the movie is if it isn't going to deliver on the raunch no hard feelings could at least deliver on the quality and it does not is it not raunchy does she not do a bunch of sex jokes in it Eh, it's more cheesy other than that really obnoxious scene like she does but not in a way that's wrong I wouldn't say it's raunchy it's just kind of like cheesy it's a romantic comedy so feasibly constructed, so lazily written, so devoid of wit and charm that the ghost of Bill Wilder must be choking on his celestial get, uh, cigar. <sighs> Got to yawn. Um, no, like I said, it was. If you watch the trailer, unfortunately, most of the good jokes are in that. But maybe I didn't watch the full trailer. I just watched her. I, I remember she gets punched in the throat. That part was funnier in the trailer. I heard that the people were uh, like, there's some, there's like a couple in it that's real funny. I like them. Yeah, they were, they were probably the best part. There's a couple. That's what I heard. Uh, Jennifer, like I said, Jennifer Lawrence is good. That, I like the kid the best. I don't know if he's been in anything, but yeah, he's. It's just like a solid movie, and it has like a heartwarming story kind of behind it. Andrew Barth Feldman. Yeah, it's not. It's he's not, in a tourist guides to love. Whatever that that's is. That's it. Yeah. Wow, he's pretty. Uh, He's Ratatouille, ripe. the TikTok musical. What? He's he's ripe. He, he plays young. Linguini. He is ripe and young for J Law. Oh my God! Twenty. He's, does she uh, motorboat him at some point, or does he motorboat her at some no, point? No, they have some awkward kissing scenes though. Oh, that's real gross. They're just like um num 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 smooches. Yum 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 yum. So, do you recommend this? Yeah, I think it's a good movie. It's right. uh yeah, I, I I saw it on Discount Tuesday, but uh, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I uh, I don't know if I'd pay full price for it. Would you watch it for free on streaming? Oh, absolutely. All right. That's, absolutely. that's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. It may, you know, it's hard to be like, yeah, I'm definitely going to pay for comedy. That's if you, tough. if you think Jennifer Lawrence is hot, then you should definitely watch it. If you don't think she's hot, then you should still maybe watch it because it's, it's got a good story there. You get to see her. Maybe jubblies. They're, I'm, they're probably her. She's been nude in a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, but she had a kid. This is her like comeback from having a kid. She's trying to show it off because she paid all those trainers and the f- yeah, chefs and stuff. it up. Yeah, maybe. Why, you know, makes sense. Oh, she's a weird chick. She's not married either, right? No, I she think got she, a kid with no dude. No, no, I think she's married. Oh, okay, to like some director Oranofsky. No, that no, that that's over. Are you sure? It was only for mother. <laughs> she ain't got a kid with Darren Aronofsky. Oh. He's the dude. No, he's a scumbag. Well. Well, that's about it. That's all we got. What do we? Oh, Indiana Jones next week, right? That Big is Jones. true. You're dropping the Jones. Getting the Jones. You're Jones. Cracking that whip. Cracking that whip. So you'll catch us doing that next week. Uh, I don't know what else we got, but we got other stuff, I'm sure. There's things to watch. We'll watch them with you, for you. But that wraps up this week. Looks like Ron Cold is the big winner for 65. We do have other giveaways. We're going to give away some other stuff like Dungeons John and Dragons. Wick and Dungeons and Dragons. Probably Dungeons and Dragons first. Yeah, I think we're going to do some dragon stuff. We're going to be dragging you through the grass. But you know what's to do. You watched us this long. We love you. Keep it coming. Keep watching. Share. We need that watch time now. We're about to break all the records, do all the things. But as for us here at Our Reviews, we'll kill you. We are on to the next one.
whenever I can find it. Goodbye. Cool,